On today's show, a jacket with 50 different cameras in it. OK Go's new music video is amazing, and you have to see it to believe it. And a new microscope that sees previously unseen things. Ready for, you ready for Monday? It's Tomorrow Daily. <laughs> Greetings, citizens of the internet. Welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. I'm your host, Ashley Scadler, joining me once again on a Monday Afternoon, Kale mm, Anonymous. Nice. It's nice in here. It's bright and sunny on a bright, Monday afternoon. Yeah, bright and sunny Monday afternoon inside the studio. Uh, we've got some pretty cool stories today, and we did a fun thing over the weekend, so we have a little. Oh little yeah, extra we've been bit trying to you. get out of the studio and do stuff, and we finally have one. It's really cool. Well, it's based on the movie. Will do we want to tell them up front? No. Okay, so let's hit the headlines. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't, I forgot my punching. Yeah, you can punch this guy. It's there Monday. All right, so let's talk about this jacket. It's a blazer with 50 different cameras in it. It's 50 wearable cameras. This is crazy. This is called the Opposmatic Jacket. So this is from a couple of South Korean artists. Um, I am going to try very hard not to butcher your names. Shin Seung Bak and Kim Yong Hun. Sounded good. Sounded pretty good. Um, and so this is it right here. Look how crazy this looks. All right. Kind of nuts. Uh, and they decided they wanted to try to give surveillance to people where there isn't any. So sometimes uh, if you're walking around, maybe you don't feel safe. Maybe you feel like you're in a, a place where something bad might happen to you, but there's no security cameras, no surveillance cameras. They're saying that this jacket will enable you to have a 360 degree view of your surroundings. So uh, there are, like we said, 50, five, zero different cameras strapped into it facing every possible direction. Uh, there's a battery pack on board, so it powers the, all the cameras, the entire thing. And the user presses a button and activates all the cameras. Oh, see, here's a hoodlum coming. Yeah, to, because he's wearing a hoodie. He's you know. up to no good. Is that Raspberry um, Pi? What raspberry is Pi, mm -hmm. and it is powered by Raspberry Pi, so the cameras connect to the internet via Wi-Fi, and it shows you a 360 degree view, just like this. So it looks almost like a photosphere so, on Google Maps. Wait, who's watching the cameras? Well, I think it's just to be able to upload that footage. So it's like if something does happen to you, you'd be able to go back uh, and look, you know, view that footage. Yeah, look at his hoodie. Or maybe yeah. you give it, maybe you give that trusted website link to a friend or loved one and say, hey, listen, I'm going to this place. It might be a little dangerous. I'm going to wear this jacket. Keep an eye out for right. it. If something this bad happens 50, to me, you can 50, see who did it. 50 cameras sounds kind of an, like an expensive jacket. It how seems did, excessive. Did how much uh, it cost? There is no word, in fact, yet on whether or not this will become a retail thing. It might just stay an art installation or like an art project. Right. Um, but actually, I was thinking it might work a little bit less here in the States because in South Korea, Wi Fi is everywhere. You can have an internet connection pretty much everywhere True, in like Seoul. Yeah. So here, though, it's not the case. Like, I can't just only walk Starbucks. down. Yeah, only, yeah, Starbucks. You'd be able to find out someone committing a terrible crime of not making your pumpkin spice latte properly. I don't want to talk about it. Um, so, yeah, I, I, like, it seems like this is the type of thing that would be really great uh, surveillance wise, or even, you know, photosphere wise, like virtual reality. So yeah. you film, you know, you walk around a place and you get a 360 degree That's camera. a better use for this is like you when you go it. beautiful places right. and take a photo with your weird jacket. It's really neat. It seems like a cool thing to do like photos with, but like here's the thing. We have an app for that already. So yeah. do I really need a jacket with 50 different cameras attached to a Raspberry Pi and a battery pack? I don't know. I don't uh, know. <clears throat> uh, Kale thought, who needs this much protection? Who's like that sort of, maybe like Kanye West? No, he's not. No. Well, like maybe, uh, maybe like crazy uh, underground, like mafia, like Korean mafia. Like, is there a Korean mafia? <laughs> maybe like you need Please protection. Please put in the comments like, if there's a Korean protection. mafia or if you're in the Korean mafia. I, like, I, I'm just wondering, like, I mean. This they watch the show, you know, the Korean I'm mafia. Sure. I'm sure, I'm marked, I'm marked for death. And but, you know, Korean mafia also likes, okay, go, but. That's true. Well, so the hashtag of the day is about this okay. jacket. Let's hear it. So the question is, if you could wear the Uposmatic jacket anywhere in time and space, you go back in time, you go forward in time. Anywhere. Anywhere in time and space, what event or place would you wear it to and what would you record? The Big Bang. You'd record, you'd just be tank, just floating? Yeah, just floating in around nothingness. in space. And then like... Well, it's not space take, yet. Just be nothingness. Pictures. So yeah, floating in nothingness is where I take my picture. All right, my jacket. fair enough. Okay, so that's what's the hashtag again? Uh, the hashtag is TV cam jacket. No, TV I'm cam sorry, jacket. it's cam coat. Cam coat. Cam coat. That's or much coat better. Coat cam. 
Uh, Look, producer Logan, is it coat cam or cam coat? Thank you. It's coat TD cam. coat cam. TD Jeez, coat cam. what is wrong with me? And I then, can't read. And then what is your what is yours? What? Oh, for me, I think I would like to see if I were exempt from harm. So you're floating in nothingness. Obviously, yeah, we're exempt from I'm harm. I'm dead. Yeah. I think I would like to see. I would like to see the end of the universe. I'd like to see Earth. So consumed. I'm at the beginning. Yeah, and you're. you're at I'm the at the end. end. I'd like to see the Earth. I'd like to see the Earth consumed by the sun. That's it's terrible. It's a terrible thing to want to see, but that's I feel like I would need to see that. All right, so let's talk about something Way to bring cheerful the room down. Yeah. and jolly. Why don't you <clears> cheer me up? Okay, so OK Go has released another video. Of course, if you've seen any of OK Go's videos, they're spectacular. They're amazing. They're uh, an accomplishment always, and they're a spectacle to see. They yeah. usually are. Uh, these new ones have been done in one shot. Yeah, or they fake one shot. Like they have really clever cuts mm -hmm. in these like one take looking videos. But this one looks like it was take all in one shot. All in one shot is what we're assuming. It's called I Won't Let You Down. Uh, at the very beginning, actually through the whole video, they're riding these uh, little Unicub electric cycles uh, made by Honda. But oh. basically, they ride around on these things. There's tons of people involved. They use umbrellas and uh, they do aerial shots using so the, a drone. They're this looks like, like like almost like a hyperlapse video. See how it's like it's yeah, it's, it's kind of jerky, it's just faster. a little bit. Right. It's yeah. It's just a little sped up, and it. But it's that is because uh, they have a lot of people coming in, yeah. and coming in and out, so they have to kind of like. Well, speed this is it up. crazy. Like it is how crazy. they have the drone like go straight up into the sky and like they make all of these different shapes and everything. I mean, it's just so cool. It, well, it, the, you, when you watch them, you're always like, that looks incredibly difficult, and you always pinpoint the one thing that looks difficult. And honestly, the drone to me seems like the difficult. Like, thing. how do you maneuvering it around? Because what kind of people, drone is this? Do we do we know what kind of drone this is? I mean, uh, look at this crazy, this is like an LED screen. This is amazing to me. It's like, okay, there's the four guys, and then it looks like it's a little screen, and every umbrella is its own pixel. It's, it's I love pretty that great. So it, much. It's unreal how, how incredible this is. Uh, it, was, uh, it was directed by, now I'm going to try and not butcher this, uh, Kazuaki Seki uh -huh. and, the, uh, and the band leader, Damien Kulash. Uh, they both worked together to direct this. Sweet. And it was shot in Japan near Tokyo in Longwood Station. Oh man! And it looks Look, incredible. It looks, that looks like yep. a screen. It's just so cool. But it's it people with umbrellas, opening and closing All umbrellas. All umbrellas. That's unbelievable. That is so cool. So there you go. That's sure to go viral. Uh, and it's, I think it's already sure viral. Should, yeah, it is made to be viral. Yeah. And if you you probably should share this. Yeah. It's and great. you know the one thing I really like about OK Go is like, even though so their videos are amazing and by themselves as standalone they're really cool. But then the music is actually really good. Like yeah. the, the songs don't suck. Which yeah. is always a nice thing. It's like it's an added bonus where you're like, wow, I get to see this really cool visual and the song is not that bad. And like, it's catchy I like that. and quirky and, yeah, it's and, catchy and, and fun. fun. Yeah, so there you go. Another, I totally dig that. Another OK Go video that is going to go viral. That is more so. than OK. It's great. Oh, wow, nice. Right. Yeah, you like that? Yeah. Uh, all right, so our last story for today is a really cool story about a scientist who I am going to just go ahead and dub the biggest overachiever of the year. Oh, I like that. All right. So this guy, uh, he he's a scientist from Virginia. He won a Nobel Prize earlier this month for developing kind of this new kind of microscopy. So um, his Nobel Prize was for a discovery that would allow him to see inside cells at high resolutions, which is really cool. But the problem is, is that when you are getting that deep into molecular, um, like looking at molecules, when you hit it, a lot of them with light, it cells, they'll deteriorate. So he was damaging these cells to the point where at a certain, at a certain point, you could only take so many pictures before the cells would be damaged, too damaged to take pictures of. So, but that's what he won. Still, he still won the Nobel Prize for developing this new type of microscopy, which is amazing. So now this is the new thing that he developed, which is unbelievable. So this is actually a cell moving through a matrix. That's a cell. Whoa. Okay, so here's this new paper pretty much outdoes the thing he won a Nobel Prize for, which is kind of unbelievable. He basically like tore down his own Nobel Prize paper and was like, no, nah, I found a better way to do it. So him and his team came up with a new method that will let just about any cell activity be imaged in living moving cells so they're saying they might be able to see neurons being created like i mean just unbelievable um and they're not nearly as damaged as the old method so and what he does is as i am to as i read it this is how i was to understand it the method is called lattice light sheet microscopy and how it works is instead of hitting it straight on with light 
he shoots in light from the sides in flat two-dimensional sheets and then takes pictures of these different molecules or, or cells and layers them together to make these videos. No way. Yeah, and so he's able to put these videos together. This is a muscle contracting. So this one is muscle contractions in C. elegans. And the first one was cell, a cell moving through a matrix, which is crazy. And he was saying that now I can he can take a lot more pictures of cells without them being not, not nearly as damaged. And that he can layer them into higher resolution images and video than we've seen before previously. And there are even researchers who are calling this like really remarkable. It might really give us some insight on how you know, things happen in our bodies, which is so cool. Like I saw this this morning. I'm like, okay, we got to talk about this, even though I'm not a scientist and it, and a lot of it is very difficult for me to like wrap my head around. It's amazing. Like that was a muscle control. That was like cells in your muscles. That's unbelievable. So which ones has he, has he done? He did the muscle one and then he did what else? Uh, that was, okay, so there was the, the cell moving through a matrix, which producer Logan showed right when we started talking about everything, and then muscle contractions in C. elegans, which is one of your muscle groups. So crazy, crazy stuff that he's already looking at. And now they're saying the applications could just be very vast and far-reaching for getting imagine. into, like, molecular wow. microscopy. So this is, like, a huge, this could be potentially a huge breakthrough. And then he'll get another Nobel Prize. I'm sure he'll, I'm sure he'll crush his own next year's <laughs> Nobel Prize, like, with some new thing. But I just thought that was super amazing, and, uh, and kudos to you. Yeah. Um, super, I mean, just so cool. So, so very cool. cool. Yeah. Uh, but that is it for our headlines. We are going to come back in 30 seconds. We have a very exciting. Oh, yeah. We left the studio for you guys this weekend. We made a little bit, and we're excited to show it to you about the movie Interstellar. There you go. And, uh, and so don't click away, and we'll be right back. All right. We're back. Welcome back to Tomorrow Daily. Uh, you know, Kale and I often wonder what's outside the studio. It's almost like the movie Pleasantville. Mm -hmm. We go, you know, what? but what's outside? What's outside? And we didn't know. We never yeah. left the studio. We actually live in here. Uh, but yeah. finally, producer Logan unlocked the doors and, yeah. and finally let us out. Yeah, but we had collars on. Yeah, we had shot collars yeah. for sure. Uh, and the first thing he let us do, the first thing we wanted to do, was we wanted to go to Universal City Walk and we wanted to check out the Interstellar Oculus Rift experience. Which we reported on on this show. We did, we talked about it a few weeks ago and fortunately for us, we did not miss the tour that came to Los Angeles. So we checked it out and uh, here's a little video we made for you. Hey, what's up guys? Kale here and Ashley, and we're here to check out the Oculus Rift experience for Interstellar. Yeah, it's exciting. So you get to actually be in, through virtual reality, the Endurance, which is the ship that Matthew McConaughey and Anne Hathaway take to the stars in hopes of finding another place for humanity to set down roots. Let me break this down for you, what happens. Now, obviously, in the Oculus Rift, we all know, you put it on and you have a 360-degree experience. You can look around and see what's going on all throughout the ship. Uh, you get to walk through the ship. They turn off the gravity, so you start floating through. There's, like, pens and, and stuff. Uh, floating like, at yeah, you. Yeah, floating around. And then you get to hop into the, the driver's seat, and then you start flying through space, and then, bam, it says Interstellar. But it's That's a, pretty fun. It's a pretty short experience, but it's very unique. I've never seen a movie do this before. The chairs move around which is something uh, that's that makes it a reason to actually go and, and see it. Sorry, I got back off. It used to be back on Earth. <laughs> you know, like those things? Yeah. Nobody looks cool wearing the Oculus Rift. I mean, that's, it's cool. Nobody looks cool there. Look. Nope. <laughs> Jimmy's trying this out for the first time. As someone who's trying out the Oculus Rift for the first time, what is the experience like? Um, you know, the first time I tried it, it was very surreal. I went to make a comment to the guy sitting next to me, and I just like, you know, you turn your head sideways to talk to someone, and there was a giant ship there, and I yeah. was just like, whoa. And that was the moment where I was like, this is something so special. Oh, uh, he made it. He made he it. How what was do you it? think? Uh, How was it? Congratulations. Was 
congratulations. Oh, never done the Oculus Rift before. Never done the Oculus Rift before. Did you do 360? Did 360, didn't get sick. Um, it was so much fun. So now, this was an experience for the movie Interstellar. Yes. Tell me how this added to the experience of like wanting to see it or just like, you know, it, it being a part of the whole experience. Well, the, uh, the ship is beautifully rendered. Um, very, very detailed. It looked absolutely amazing. So I'm really looking forward now to seeing the movie and seeing that ship again. You'd be like, I was there. I was there. I was, I was in, in that, that ship. ship. I was actually walking around in it. It's amazing. Another note, you don't get to see uh, Matthew McConaughey no, or Anne Hathaway. I cried a little bit, but the Oculus no. soaks up the tears no, and turns it, it into pure energy. Yeah. So all right, yeah. guys, that's it. That was our really cool interstellar Oculus Rift experience. Uh, we're going to be bringing you a lot more stuff on Tomorrow Daily, of course. Yes. Because of what kinds of hosts would we be if we didn't? Um, but uh, but this was a blast. So thanks for watching. And uh, you want to moonwalk away? Moon, I, I can't moonwalk. No, no, not not actual moonwalk, but like. Just, oh, like yeah, spacewalk, right? Yeah. So that was our that was our wonderful experience. Kale's still involved and he's just floated away. Just so I can turn the gravity away. back on. Oh, there we oh, go. Oh God, you. finally gravity. Um, yeah, that was the Interstellar. And one of the cool things about this is Interstellar. Okay, so Interstellar is going to be in theaters November fifth. So, but if you want to check out the Oculus Rift experience, there's still a way to bring it to your hometown. And How's this that? Is really cool. So if you AMC is doing a thing where the most amount of pre-sale tickets. Yeah. gets the Oculus Rift experience. It'll, it'll come to their town. It'll come to your theater, your local theater. So if you are interested in potentially getting, you know, 50,000 of your closest friends yeah. together, start a, what, start like a little town petition or something? Sorry, Naugatuck, Connecticut. You're not getting it. You don't have enough people that even live there. It's probably yeah, going to Texas I just, something. you know, yeah, it's probably going to go to like some big city. But, um, but, but really try. But it won't go to L.A., New York, uh, was it Dallas? Really? Houston? Because yeah. they were already, it was or, part uh, of the Chantilly. tour. It's part of the tour. Chantilly, Virginia. Yeah, there's still places the it's going to be, yeah. Yeah, so it's, uh, I think Chantilly, Virginia is the last, one of the last ones it's going to before. Um, and then it'll go to whatever city that AMC, uh, whatever the contest winner is, I guess. But it's super duper unique. Like, so cool. It's, what a great I, use of uh, Oculus. Yeah, exactly. I'm a great glad promotional we're tool. Sci-fi sci and then current fi. So. Yeah, and it's still a little bit of future tech. I mean, like, we don't have a consumer version. I think the one that we used was uh, we, were, we were wearing the Crystal Cove headset, so it wasn't the upgraded resolution for the Crescent Bay oh. with the uh, with the headset. We had yeah. separate headsets on, right. but Bigger still looked choosers, really cool. Yeah. yeah, no, it still looked really cool, and we had a really good time. So hopefully we're going to get out of the studio a little more and go do some more fun stuff. We have... Maybe some fun things planned. Mm -hmm. um, I'm working on a couple of good a couple of good challenges that Kayla and I might be taking part in, which could be really fun. I really wish some you versus, told me things. Yeah. Some versus. Um, it was a boxing match, really. Oh. No, it's not. But it's it maybe equally as exciting for you yeah. guys to watch. I so, have grandma arms, so it's not going to so, do anything. Well, let us know what you guys thought of that bit. And is there anything maybe in Southern California that's coming up or yeah. a company that you what want us to cover? check out? What yeah, should we cover? Should we go? Make sure you tell us. But uh, speaking of things that our fans tell us, it's time for user feedback. Oh, you guys really liked that Unavengers hashtag. You really, Avengers, they, yep. they really liked it. So yep. uh, last week on Thursday, we asked you guys after the Age of Ultron trailer dropped early, what would definitely not happen in the Avengers 2 Age of Ultron? You guys came up with some really good stuff. Richard wrote to us and said, Thor will open a head shop called Marvels of the Universe and sell DC Comics out the back. Oh! <laughs> I All like right, that. Yeah. He says, love y'all in the show. Uh, Jesus writes, Ultron BSODs mid battle, reboots becomes ultra clippy, Thanos appears. Hashtag, would you like help with that? Would you like help with that? <laughs> I like the I idea. See, of, I see you're starting a Word document. I, I see you're trying to get the Infinity Goblin. Would you like help with that? <laughs> that would be actually cool. <laughs> um, and then uh, Michael writes to us and says Thor, being great with hammers and tools, will quit the Avengers and work at the Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> Breaking things. I think Another! That's that's his side. I think that's his side gig, right? Like yeah. when they're when the Avengers are on hiatus, like he he maybe he works seasonally at Home Depot. That seems like a parody that somebody should make. It really does. You know they have like Chad Vader. This seems yeah. like Thor working at Thor. Home Depot. Mm. I like it, Thor Depot. And then uh, Dippo writes to us and says, "I'm sure Tony Stark won't go through bankruptcy and start cooking meth with Bruce Banner." <laughs> and then he nice. put Breaking Bad, which I thought was great. Which so one's gonna funny. be bald though? Um, One of them has to get like cancer. Bruce Banner. Well, Bruce he's Banner. sick. Maybe the oh. Hulk. Maybe 
you know, Hulk he's, gets cancer. Maybe Hulk gets really sick. I don't know. Maybe he's got to support. Well, maybe he's look just like he's still looking for a cure. He's looking for a cure. Is yeah. he not? Yeah. So for the, cure his cancer. Hulkness. Oh, okay. No, that's his cure. Oh, he's oh his. A cure oh, for that. all right. I see where he we're doesn't going. need a disease. He's he turns into a giant green monster, Cal. Jeez. So then Tony Stark is a meth dealer. All right. Yeah, I don't like this. Let's keep going. All right. <laughs> And of course, our very last piece of user feedback every day is our photographer of the day. Today's photographer, I really, really like. It's a little story that comes with it. This is from uh, Zach. And Zach writes to us and says, this is Zach from a small city all the way in Malaysia. Love your show. Never thought I'd actually try to email you with hopes you'll put mine on your show, but I really want to show this photo. This photo was taken a few days ago with an iPhone 4 using WhatsApp by my mom. My mom wanted to show me and my siblings in our WhatsApp group the first flower blooming on her passion fruit plant in her garden, and that was the result. My mom is not tech savvy or even an amateur photographer, and this photo made me proud. Oh, wow. Love the show, keep it up, and show this photo, thanks. <laughs> I like the demand right <laughs> Or here. else. Show this photo or else. Um, yeah, your mom did a great job. Yeah. If she's not super tech savvy, I mean, I, I think that really is a testament to how easy it is to take great pictures. It's fantastic. You know, with yeah. technology, which is pretty cool. So, Way to go, mom. Yeah, high five, Zach's mom. Yeah. High fiving you right sorry through the screen. Tell your mom's cooler than you, Zach. Yeah, I mean, that she sends better pictures to you because you've sent because you've sent nothing. Yeah. But Z but Zach's mom, aces in our book. Aces. Yep. Good job. Way yeah. To go. Super cool. Well but done. I like that story. I thought that was really cool. Um, and I, I like the idea that, uh, you know, somebody a little less tech savvy mm -hmm. just, got, just got featured on our show. School and her son. Yeah. So easy. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. So, and if you want to be featured uh, or if you want to be considered to be featured, send a link to your picture and a little story. Tell us a little bit about it. Tomorrow at CNET.com is the email address. You can also send the answer to the question of the day, which, which is, is TD Coat. TD Coat Cam. Coat Cam. Um, coat Cam. And Where would you? Take a photo. When, where, when, when what where. would you yeah. take pictures of? Don't be what as would you video as Yeah, don't get dark. Lady is I mean, you could. There. It's Halloween week. Get get a little dark, mm -hmm. you guys. Get a little dark. No. Um, and if you would like to use social media to send us the answer to that question, you can, of course, use Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. Uh, we are Tomorrow Daily on all those things. And we're plus Tomorrow Daily TV over on Google+. Uh, if you are on the hashtag Kale Watch, where can we find you, Kale Anonymous? Uh, YouTube.com slash Kale Anonymous. Or... Nerd-bait.com. Very I'm good. I'm working on my website. You're working on He's working on it. So working little... on it. Today's news story was about Doctor Strange and how Benedict Cumberbatch didn't even know he got the role. Yeah, I'm sure he did. Well, it's still not confirmed. He's in final talks. Final talks. But, uh, I'm sure he'll do it. Joaquin Phoenix has been in final talks. Ethan Hawke has been in final talks. They've been in final talks with like four different actors. Mm. So these are rumors that I don't know. I mean, until they give me an official okay, casting yeah. notice, I don't believe any rumor about I'm Doctor totally, Strange. I'm totally, look, unless it's, if it's not going to be Johnny Depp, it needs to be Benedict Cumberbatch. You know, Jimmy said the same thing this weekend. He said uh, Johnny Depp as yep. well. He's like, I really want to see Johnny Depp. And I said, I don't want to see him in any more movies ever. I'll give you that. Yeah, yeah. I'm just really Maybe. tired of him playing the same weirdo in every movie. Into the woods, he's going to be the same weirdo. Same weirdo, he's but in a wolf be, costume. Yep, in a wolf costume. In a dumb wolf costume that looks ridiculous. Uh, I'm sorry. I to hate to be it, mean to yeah. Into the Woods, but it looks kind of crazy. Thanks for watching Tomorrow Daily, your Johnny Depp hating show. <laughs> no, on the no, internet. we don't I'm hate CNET. Johnny Depp. I just don't want to see him in any more movies. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> big difference, yeah. big difference. All right, guys, we will be back tomorrow with a brand new slate of weird, wonderful uh, technology and geek news. So we will see you then, but until then, be good humans and bye.